My class text can be used to get help while taking a midterm, a quiz, or even the final exam. And the way it can be done is to have not just one tab, one instance of my class text open, and here I have the midterm number two open, but to have a second tab open as well. And in that second tab, I'm going to go to all my assignments. And here are the units under all my assignments. I'm taking the midterm two, and the first question in midterm two on my midterm, and of course these all get scrambled so that they're different from one student to the next, and also from one time that you take the midterm to a second attempt, the questions will be in a different order as well. The title of this question is Central Limit Probability 08. This is a question title identifier, and I can use this to help me find that same question or a similar question in the homework for that particular section. So I'm going to go to Unit 2 and expand it. Again, this is about the Central Limit Theorem, and I don't remember, let's make believe, I don't remember where the Central Limit Theorem was, but I know it's going to be in this Unit 2 somewhere, so I'm going to open up the Discrete Distributions chapter, and down at the bottom, I'm going to look at the Binomial Distributions homework. I'm going to improve my score, and I'm going to look through these titles, these question identifiers, to see if I can find the question identifier that comes close to matching the Central Limit Probability 08 identifier. And I don't see anything here, so I'm going to go back to the breadcrumbs and click on it, and scroll down and go to the next. I'm going to improve my score. And I'm going to look through these question identifiers. Again, I don't see anything. So I'll simply click on the breadcrumb at the top and scroll down to the next. And this is the quiz. So that's not going to do me any good. So let's go to all my assignments and to unit two again. And let's look at the normal distribution. And we'll come down to the bottom of this and look at the normal distribution, but actually I'm not going to go through each one of these because the question identifier was central limit probability. And as I look through the titles of the different homeworks, I see one saying central limit theorem. So it's a pretty good bet that I might find that question in this homework. I'm going to improve my score. And now as I look through the question title identifiers here, I'll look for the Central Limit Theorem Probability 08, and I have Central Limit Theorem Probability 02, 03, 09, 01, and 12, so nothing really exactly the same. The closest one is this one, so let's click on it, and we have an, a question that when you read it looks and sounds very similar to this question. Of course, different storyline and different numbers, but the thing that's really important here is that I get to use all of these learning aids, so I can open up Dr. Knight's Solution video and view that, or any of the other uh, learning aids, and after viewing those learning aids, go back and then try this Central Limit Theorem Probability question. Once I have answered it and go on to number two, I notice this one is entitled Type 1 and Type 2 Errors. So here I'll go to the My Class Text. I'll go to All My Assignments. And again, since this is Unit 2 midterm, I'll open up Unit 2. And I remember that the Type 1 and Type 2 Errors was in the topic of hypothesis testing, so I'll open that chapter and scroll down to the bottom and look at the different homeworks that are listed by topic, and here's type 1 and type 2 errors. I'll improve my score, and here I have type 2 errors 3a, 3b, and 6a. This is 6b, well then 6a is pretty close, so 
I would click on that. And here we have a YouTube video and also a, a learning aid that we can use to help find what the answer to the midterm question is. And again, I'm going back and forth between the two by simply clicking on the tabs at the top. Once you've finished all 20 questions, you will finish the midterm and you can use the homework and the learning aids in the homework to assist you with all of the questions in that midterm. I hope this is of help to you in taking the midterms and the quizzes and even the final exam and that you don't find these tests threatening in any way. If you're unable to finish the entire quiz or midterm or final, remember to click on the closed quiz or test without submitting and the quiz or test will be saved along with your answers that you've answered thus far and you'll be able to continue when you reopen that quiz or test.